Snoop Dogg's back here for our fourth episode, and today we're gonna be hitting some legs. We're gonna be doing some compound movements and some isolated movements, and we're gonna be going through our workouts before explaining what we're gonna be doing and then demonstrating how to do it right. And yeah, let's get into it. Uh, Tim's gonna be um, doing most of the workouts because I'm incapable of doing that, so I'll do a little more explaining. All right, guys, so the first exercise we're gonna be starting out with is also the best exercise for legs, in my opinion, and Chris Bumstead's opinion, another pro bodybuilder, is barbell squat. Now, barbell squat is definitely the best exercise because it gives you the biggest stretch, it gives you the best pump, it, give, it, pretty, it hits all targets of your legs because you, you're using your whole legs to get right back up in the movement. Uh, it targets your quads, targets your hamstrings, targets your, it targets, it targets your whole legs and your glutes and stuff too. And yeah, let's get into it. Tim's gonna show you guys how to do a front squat and it's a little different from back squat. Uh, front squat, you hold it like this and it's gonna sh um, hit more, focus more on the quads than if anything, rather than like the hamstring and the glutes because you're, you got the weight in front of you. So like when you bend, when you go down, it loads the quads up more than it would load up your hamstrings and all that, so. Third exercise, which is gonna be uh, Romanian deadlifts, RDLs for short. What this exercise is, is it, sh it stretches your hamstrings and then you squeeze at the top for your glutes and it hits both of your hamstrings and uh, glutes really well. The person that I got this from is uh, Joe Andrews. He's a famous YouTuber on YouTube. And he he's an IFBB pro, so he's a pro bodybuilder. And yeah, he likes putting these towards the end of the workout. I like putting it towards the front because it gives me a good stretch and help through my mind muscle connection for my next lifts, like seated hamstring curl and such. But yeah, let's get into it. Bulgarian split squats and this is the one where you put one of your legs up on the bench and then the other on the ground and this exercise is really good for your hamstrings your quads and your glutes you can position the front of your foot in different ways to hit that's mm -hmm. like your outer quad your inner mm -hmm. quad and then you can do a way right for your glutes too. yeah but this exercise is super beneficial because it gives you a big stretch and you can load up a lot of weight on it but these are typically known as the killer can I work out because they suck, they're hard, but the be the benefits from, from this lift are, yeah. are huge. And a lot of lot of pro bodybuilders do this movement. People rate this as their number one workout. It's just a very tough workout. You gotta have you gotta have big heart for it. You gotta have drive. We're gonna move on to an isolated movement called bike extension. Bike extension is probably one of the most famous exercises for quads because it really isolates them and you hold like this little bar up on top of your ankles and all the weight is isolated all on your quads. Uh, a bunch of bodybuilders do this exercise, probably one of the most famous. You can, uh, some, there's different ways to do it. You can go really heavy and try to do as many reps as you want. Or you can go lighter weight and you can really, really feel the squeeze at the top, like yeah. go super slow. And, and the better mind muscle connection you have, the better the outcome is gonna be. You really wanna push yourself to failure and really get try to get as much growth out of the movement as you possibly yeah. can. But 
It's like, it's, you can do it as like a burner too. Like you can do it as your last. I like to do it sometimes as my last workout and just really squeeze. Yeah. I either go heavy or super light and do um, really slow. So, yeah. I mean, you can do it however you want, but. Now we're gonna move on to an uh, isolated hamstring exercise. What we're gonna be doing is uh, it's, it's the laying down hamstring curl. And this bar goes on the back, right under your calf muscle, right by your ankle. And kind of like a bicep curl, you're just curling with your legs like this. Yeah, and you're, it's holding your hamstring in like an elongated mm -hmm. point. So it really stretches the hamstring. And then when you put it to the front, it's like a bicep peak, like Logan said. Mm -hmm. you, you squeeze it and it's one of the best exercises for stretch, which is very important. My muscle connection. If you can dial this exercise in, the, your hamstrings are going to blow up like crazy. Also, go super slow on this one. Yeah. You'll, you'll feel the burn. And... Oh, yeah, you'll feel the burn. <laughs> Let's go. Now, finally, finally done with leg day, the most, one of the most brutal days. And uh, we're gonna be doing walking lunges at the end. These hurt a lot, but we're gonna do a bunch. We're gonna probably try to do 20 to 40 per leg right before the end of the workout. This is gonna pump a bunch of blood flow into it, get you really pumped up. If you have to walk upstairs or downstairs at the end of this workout, it's gonna be pretty tough to get up or down. And yeah, make sure that you keep on drinking your electrolytes like water, get bananas in so you don't cramp because cramps. Especially leg like day. Especially leg like day, yeah. And make sure you yeah, keep dialed in on your hydration, keep dialed in on your nutrition, your good proteins. Don't eat don't eat candy all the time and pop. But yeah, let's let's get What's up guys, this is Jim Dogs here with Fit Focus and we're gonna be asking them some questions about leg day, nutrition, and all that just to see what some advice that they can give us so that maybe we can get better gains from the gym. So we can learn from them, pick up on a few things. Yeah. Uh, you guys, uh, what are your guys' favorite leg exercises? Mine personally is squats. I do squats a lot. Like the failure, you know. Yeah, mine's just leg extensions, you know, get that nice. You know, squeeze at the top and then slow all the way down about two seconds, just a nice little thing. Do you guys ever try going like heavier on squats or lighter on squats? Or, like, what, what's the what's the mix? Well, I do two sets. First, met, the first two sets are heavy, and then I do the prop set to a lower weight. Uh -huh. That's what I personally do. Do you guys prefer high volume or high intensity? Uh, both. I, yeah. High intensity and high volume. I mean, I prefer higher volume because yeah. you know I don't like to shrink. It's just mm -hmm. a What's your guys' next favorite leg exercise? Uh, leg extensions. Leg extensions? Yeah. I like doing single legs. Yeah. yeah. So mine's probably just you know, pack squats. I don't really like doing squats. I don't know why. My hips always like pop pretty bad, even if I do a bunch of warm up stretches and stuff. I've looked up so many videos. It just hurts pretty bad, so mm -hmm. I just do uh, you know, pack squats, stuff like that. Things that are you know, just demanding. What's your guys' diet look like every day? What do you guys eat? Well, right now, how many meals? Uh, three to four. Right now, I'm gonna cut, so I'm eating like yeah. ground turkey and mm -hmm. ground beef. Ninety six for yeah. ninety nine ground turkey. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just eating like as low fat as I can, mm -hmm. and keeping the protein kind of high, and yeah. then with keeping the cows at around like two thousand. Yeah. Like, right, guys, do you guys do any like uh, like supplements? Do you guys take any supplements or anything? Uh, right now, no. I used to take creatine. That's pretty much it. I mean, I take pre workout. I, like, I take pre workout. For me, I just I I was taking zinc and creatine, and I just stopped because I couldn't keep up with the uh, water intake. It was just too much. I'm only getting like 120 ounces th today, and just in general. Yeah. And Did you guys uh, like notice any benefits from creatine really, or not really? I gained around eight pounds. It just helped. 
Yeah. And I didn't like get bloated or anything. I just noticed a pound increase. I felt a little stronger. I felt I felt like I had more energy. I don't know. Yeah, I felt I had more energy in the gym. I had to push a little bit more weight, do a couple more reps on the sets. That's pretty much what. You guys daily cardio look like? You guys do cardio at all? Um, I mean, I do a lot of cardio. I do about like 30 minutes, to, like an hour a day, mm-hmm. just on like a bike, like a stationary bike, kind of like an actual bike, because it'd be you know, really muddy yeah. outside. It's just yeah. not not optimal. But I also just just walking around school and just doing daily stuff also helps out. It helps work fat. So mm-hmm. that's why. Uh, on my side, I don't do cardio, but I just started doing cardio because I'm gonna cover right now. Yeah. I want to try to lose my some some of the fat yeah. I gained, so I'm gonna be able to do like a mile run or long mm-hmm. bike before the gym or after the workout. All right, uh, what got you? What got you guys into the gym? Well, me personally, I was skinny fat, so I wanted to get, gain more muscle, so I just started working out. All right, so for me, you know, I was always skinny. I was like the weak kid growing up. You know, I get, I got pushed around a lot, so I was, I was sick of it. And I just wanted to do. Yeah. This is Fit Focus. Thank you guys for coming Thank on you. this for this interview, and then yeah, check them out, please. And yeah, that's it. Gym dogs out.